Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about Olaplex. This is the Bond Intense Moisture Mask number eight. And then I also have here the Purple Shampoo Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo Olaplex number four P. And I'm gonna be talking about these products. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. If you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed. I do product reviews, vlog, everything. I would love to have you on this crazy internet journey. It would mean the world to me. Also follow me on Instagram because I don't have a really good reason, but I, I like to post on there as well. So I would love for you to go follow me. So I'm going to start off with the face mask first. Um, if you guys haven't been around my channel for that long, um, I bleached my hair all by myself. Not, this is not the end product. Um, this looks a lot better in my opinion, but I bleached my hair. Um, with my mom and I was blonde for about two years I think and my hair was a very unhealthy um, I did not take care of it a lot, but I did use Olaplex number three um, I think I made an entire video on that and it did so well um, So I'll link that down below for you guys to watch but I love Olaplex so if you're coming here because you don't like Olaplex or anything. I believe this is the reason, like this brand is the reason why I still have like hair on my head. Olaplex and Karenique. And in the past, Olaplex sent me some products as well. And like, I have this cute little decal sticker thing, but this video is not affiliated or sponsored by Olaplex. So I don't want you guys to think that, but I did work with them in the past and they are a cool company and I really love their products. Um, but starting off, let's talk about number eight, Blonde Intense Moisture Mask. So this is really nice, really conditioning, hydrating. I typically put it from my ears down on my hair and kind of just let it sit on my hair for um, a few minutes. Basically the directions um, just apply to clean damp hair, mid length to ends, use sparingly on the roots. Yeah, because like oil already comes from your head anyway. Work through with fingers, leave on for 10 minutes, rinse fully and style as usual. So basically you should use this once a week, it was saying. I typically use it like every two to three washes just because I do lighten my hair and everything. This really reminds me of Olaplex number three and it was the treatment I put on my hair after bleaching it. Like after a full bleach session, I would leave the Olaplex number three on my hair. I would actually put it all over my head, not just on the ends. Um, and that did wonders. So this is really lathering, really thick. Well, not thick, but I will say when you squirt this out, it doesn't come out a lot. Like it's definitely not one that you do this and then like squirt it on your hand. It's a pump, so literally you just, it's a pump, so you just press it down, press it down, and not a lot comes out of this bottle, um, and it is kind of a tiny bottle, and this is kind of expensive. I will say, some's kind of leaking out, maybe I pressed it on accident, but I will say that you don't get a whole ton of product, but you're not supposed to be using it a lot, so Size wise, I think it's okay, especially considering it is a moisture mask. It's not just like conditioner, um, but I wish the pump, I wish that there was like a different, and maybe they do sell it in different formats, but I don't really like the pump. So packaging wise, it's a no-go for me. I don't really like that. Um, let's move on to application. Application is super easy. Um, it's really lathering because it's so, it's a very like, conditioner type consistency. Um, it is white, so if you know, you're know you concerned about colors, like nothing is gonna happen. I don't know how long this is gonna last me, but um, I'm assuming it'll last me at least six months, maybe seven months. But I will say the worst thing about this product is the smell. I cannot stand the smell. For some weird reason, I don't like the way it smells. And maybe it's just because I am spoiled with Orbe and I use the Orbe mask for over a year. That product lasted me so long and I loved the packaging because it was like just in a tub almost and you can just like scoop it out with your hand like this. And it was just so nice. The smell was impeccable, it was great. This does not smell good. Like 
I will still use the product because it's a good product, number one, and number two, I paid a lot of money for this, so I'm gonna use it, but if it was up to me, the scent, I have a very sensitive nose and I just don't like it. Um, from what I remember, Olaplex number three smelled great. Like, I loved the scent of number three. So I don't know like if they changed their supplier, maybe Olaplex number three smells like this, but from what I remember, Olaplex number three did not smell like this. So I don't know why. It smells like, I wanna say like berry. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it smells like a berry type thing. It does not smell luxurious whatsoever. I don't know if like the shampoo and conditioner also smell like this, but I will tell you the purple shampoo also smells like that and I'm just not a fan. So that's the worst part about this. And if you have a sensitive nose like me and like smell is important to you, I would say go with Orbe because they are very like comparable in price and both products are great. Um, so, and they're both sold on Amazon if you're looking. So if smell matters to you, definitely go with Orbe instead of Olaplex, but I still genuinely love this product and I think it is 100% like good for your hair, like my hair feels great. Good quality product. I give it a thumbs up, but not with the smell. Like again, I know that's not a big deal for some people, but it's a really big deal for me. Moving on to our handy dandy friend, the purple blonde enhancer toning shampoo is very interesting. Um, I still don't really know exactly how I feel about it, but I will give you my first impressions and everything like that. So basically, um, what you're supposed to do is apply to wet hair, obviously, and let process for one to three minutes and then rinse. Um, for more intensive toning, you leave it in for like five minutes um, and then follow up with number five blonde maintenance conditioner. So I don't really use the conditioner. I just use Orbe's conditioner um, because I have and use the shampoo and conditioner from that brand, but this is an interesting product. So first of all, I'm gonna share with you, it is very, very strong in the sense of like purple shampoos. It's very dark purple, but it is super, super purple and it's kind of watery. So I think it's watery because it doesn't have like, I don't know, some sort of chemical in it, but it's pretty watery and it does not lather a lot. Like I felt like I had to use a lot of this stuff to like get all throughout my hair and it'll like almost feel like you're staining your hands too because like I was nervous I was gonna come out of the shower with purple hands. So it's really strong and I don't know, like it's just weird. And when I got some of this on my shower curtain, like you kind of had to run actual water over the shower curtain to get this stuff off because like it's almost like a dye I feel like because it's that strong. It is kind of watery but it does like tone your hair down I believe because I used it and I see a difference kind of sort of. I don't know if you can. I think it does a good job. I think it does what it's supposed to do but yeah it's very thin doesn't lather. Going back to smell, it does not smell good whatsoever. Um, it smells, I was hoping that this one would smell like number three, but it doesn't. It smelled like the mask. Again, with that like berry sweet type of thing. It does smell kind of fresh, but like, again, I'm just not a fan of the scent. So it smells just, it's not my particular uh, preference. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would 100% because I think it does a really good job for toning your hair. I have used in the past a different brand. I don't know. I can picture the bottle. It's like a red bottle um, and it was a purple shampoo and it was sulfate free and I got it at Ulta. It was good and everything, but I just think Oloplex is better in my opinion. Um, so I would definitely buy this again and use it, but only because I don't have to use this like every wash, you know? Um, I would definitely not use Olaplex on a regular basis because if their scent smells like this for all their products now, no, I couldn't do it. Since I don't use these products like every day or every wash, I don't mind using them and I would definitely buy them again, especially considering the fact that it will extend the lifespan of the products. 
So, um, yeah, like I don't really know what else to say about this, but just know about the lathering, about the scent and about the color. You will think it's like staining a lot. Are these products worth it? Yes. Um, I can't speak on the shampoo and conditioner, but I will say that I would not get them because like I am a true, true fan and love Orbe so much. So I don't think I would fully convert over to all Olaplex, even though their products are amazing and are really good to add into your hair care routine. I just can't fully switch over. So I hope this review video gave you some insight, especially to someone who's very picky with specific things and smells, textures, everything like that. I um, hope you found this helpful and you might take something from this video. Um, I will have them linked down below. So if you guys wanna check out the products, feel free to do so. I think that's about it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.